Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our cameras. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here um, you know and they're getting better um, you know I'm watching you know uh, Summit City Sports man they're doing an awesome job and I mean that's a plug them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job and I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting and I'm seeing the talent and it is just truly outstanding and I mean you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne Indiana the talent that's coming up now and the talent that you know is it's is, is, is just here man it's just is really it's really cool I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSN Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. 
I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School football fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here from Wayne High School. Back here at home, it feels like it's been a minute out here on the southeast side of Fort Wayne, Indiana, as we have an outstanding Summit Athletic Conference matchup in the B division between the Bishop Lures Knights and the hosting Wayne Generals. Thanks for joining us here tonight at SummitCitySports.com. We are live. Joel Ray on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Appreciate you joining us and delighted you're taking your time out for this outstanding matchup I do believe we're about to see here tonight. Bishop Lures comes in one and two on the season under head coach Kyle Lindsey and the Wayne Generals under head coach Sherwood Haydock will come in two and one on that camp same season start. Of course, a little different wrinkle from here on out in the Summit Athletic Conference with the first two weeks being out of conference matchups. Wayne just got one out of conference. The, the Northrop game in week number two did not count towards the conference standings as they are a big school. So looking, let's look at Lures first. They started the season at East Noble. Always a daunting task to head up to Kendallville uh, to take on the Knights. They lost that one 45-7 there in Kendallville. My guy Greg in the house. Up second was the, so back-to-back -back any eight schools. New Haven was week number two for Lures. That was at home 36, 36 to seven loss. So just 14 points in those first two games for Lures. That New Haven squad is a dynamic, dynamic offense as they'll take on Leo tonight. Now at Leo, as I need to adjust here, as they'll take on Leo at Leo, which will be an exciting matchup. Jeff Mahoney on the call out there and Pat Reith on the camera. Then last week, Lures finally got on the winning side of things. They took on Northrop at Spooler, and they won that one 37-14. Uh, and they just had an outstanding job running the ball. Uh, did the Knights. In that 37-14 win, Coach Kyle Lindsay told the sideline swam that he was really happy with the overall team effort. The defensive intensity and effort was remarkable, he said, uh, so much better than a couple of weeks ago. And that three-headed running back system with Mickey Daring, Gio Jimenez, and Finn Sachs had an outstanding day. Senior quarterback, of course, Cohen McKenzie was very efficient, 5 of 6 for 98 yards and one score. Uh, but they're going to need a little bit more offense here tonight against this Wayne General Club, as I expect big, big things for this 4A club, as I do for Lures in the 2A as well. As you look at the numbers for Bishop Lures and McKenzie, their starting quarterback, he's 21 of 43, 263 yards through three games, does have two TDs, but the most important right thing, uh, thing right there is no interceptions for McKenzie. I mentioned the running backs, Darren Jimenez and, and Sachs. Uh, also watch for Davion Surrey. 
uh, on the kick return and punt return. He's a game-breaking player waiting to happen. Just a sophomore uh, getting extreme playing time under head coach Kyle Lindsey in his 10th grade year. He's got 92 kick return yards and 140 punt return yards. He can break it at any time. Number two, Davion Surrey is going to be fun to watch. Looking at the wide receiving core, spreading the wealth a little bit here early for McKenzie, and he's top three receivers. We'll start with number 88, Mr. Do Everything offensively and defensively as Wes Javins, uh, the senior tight end, defensive end, 6'4", 188 on the weight, 89 catches and three receptions. Uh, that's a pretty good average. Thank God they did the math for him. It's 29.7 uh, yards uh, per catch. Then right below with six catches is number six. And Jalen White, the junior. And then rounding out that wide receiver trio is number four, Isaac Zay, the, uh, the senior with four catches, 49 yards alone. Touchdown receptions came from Javins a week ago. Looking at the defense there, leading the way for Lures is the senior, number five, Damian Jackson. He leads the way with 23 tackles, total tackles on the season. Then right behind him is number 88, Wes Javens, with 19 tackles as well. Right below him is Isaac Zay with 17, then Mickey Daring with 14, and Buxton with 13. Not a whole lot of sacks for Lures on the defensive side. Jackson with the lone sack on the season for Lures. And I mentioned Davion Surrey as a kick return, punt return. Also has two interceptions on the season in the first three games, along with the sophomore, number 26, in Mikhail Woodson. So Lures needs to continue the offensive progression here against these Wayne Generals as they come in 2-1 and one under head coach Sherwood Haydock as they hit the center of the field for the coin toss. And Lures will defer and kick it to Wayne. So Lures will get the ball in the second half. Looking at Wayne and Coach Haydock, they started the season taking that trip down to Indianapolis to take on Indianapolis Addicts. They won that one 35-12 and then played Northrop in the uh, second week at Spooler. They won that one 42-7. And then a disappointing loss and output 41-10 here at home against Homestead a week ago. So they're looking to get back on the winning side of things are the Wayne Generals. And it's all going to start with their outstanding wide receivers. And I'm telling you what, they are outstanding. But before we get there, let's start with their quarterback. The senior is Marcus Cooper. Where's number two? He's 36 of 55, 510 yards on the season. Four touchdowns and three interceptions. That's a pick a game, so got to clean that up here for Cooper. They got a trio of running backs as well. And number 16, uh, Antoine Pollard. Number 21, Josiah Stallings. And number 45, Kamar, Kamar Nelson. Nelson, the junior, leading the way. 19 carries, 181 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Stallings. 24 rushes, 135 yards, one touchdown, and Pollard's 26 uh, rushes and 121 yards, no touchdowns as of yet. And then that outstanding wide receiving core that we all, all knew was coming. And that is going to be an outstanding uh, strength here for the club under Coach Haydock. As we are set here, just like that, before you know it, we're set and on here at Wayne High School. I'll give you the defensive stats here momentarily when Wayne gets on defense and the kick deep fielded at the four-yard line. Here is Harold Mack, one of the outstanding wide receivers in the state of Indiana. It's blasted. Great tackle by number 16, D. Hogue, the sophomore for Lures. But looking at those wide receiving numbers, Harold Mack, nine catches, 228 yards, two touchdowns. He is a specimen out there, no doubt about it. Can also return punts, uh, or excuse me, kickoffs as well as you saw right there. Second on the squad in receiving yards is Jacob Sheeran, another outstanding junior, 85 yards on eight catches. Then Williams Jr., 81 yards on six catches, and Toll, 70 yards on six catches. So we're set here first and 10. This is Indiana High School football. We do play four 12-minute quarters. As they're going to put a man in motion, that's Harold Mack in the backfield. They're going to swing it out to him. 
Oh, fumble. Uh-oh, and Lures got the ball here. First turnover of the game, and it's going to be fumbled and picked up by the Knights. No signal. Oh, and that's going to be a flag. Ooh, lucky not to get a personal foul on that as well. As they will take over at the Wayne 11-yard line. What a start for the Lures defense. Let's go to our Traction Athletic Performance Replay. They put Mack in motion. They want to swing it out to get him in space. It's a great job on the edge. And ran into his own guys how the fumble happened. And as we get back to the action here, I'll get you the number of that recovery as well. So here comes the quarterback in Cohen McKenzie. Man in motion. They're going to hand. Oh, look at the pressure. Tackle and a loss on the play. And that is, that is Bushy, one of the leading tacklers for the Generals with 22 tackles, 11 of them solo. Add another one to that collection for Bushy. So going backwards here, now it's going to be second, what, 12, 13 yards for McKenzie. Three wide receiver set, twins near side. McKenzie. With Isaac Zay, it looks like, on his left hip. He's going to turn and hand to Zay. Zay has got great blocking on this near side. He's going to take it in for the score. 14-yard rushing touchdown for the first one of the ball game. And it's going to go to Lures, taking advantage of that turnover. 6-0 within the first minute of play. 10.58 left in this quarter. Disastrous start here for the Generals. And for the PAT. Is number 21, Liam Kelly, the junior. It's going to be McKenzie on the hold. Got a late arrival. Plenty of time on the play clock. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is good. Lures with a tremendous start here in the first technical week of their conference play. Playing another school in that B division, small division, whatever you want to call it. But it all started with that fumble from Mack. Let's go back to it. I like the play design. But did not, they just completely missed that block over there in that slot. Ran into his own guy. And then the fumble and recovery. Let's see if we can squeak out who it was that recovered it. He's still on the ground there. Yep. Couldn't see who recovered that fumble. And then it led to this touchdown run. Let's go back to our traction AP replay. The handoff. Look at the space out here. Camera guy Joel Ray could have taken that one in easily. As that was Mickey Daring, I apologize. Mickey Daring on that touchdown. And back to it now, 7-zip. Kick is deep from Angel Rojas, the junior, and they're going to let that one roll in for an automatic touchback. And Wayne will take over for their second possession. As we work on the filter here to make sure we get you a clean pick. So second possession for Wayne. First and 10 from the 20. Three wide receiver set. They're going to turn and hand. Can he get an edge? Does. Nice little run from Harold Mack. Ten fifty four left in this first quarter. They went Sharon on the opposite side. Three wide receiver set, twins into the far. Another handoff to Mack. Mack, good cut. Stripped. 
Another fumble. It's loose. Lewis got it again. Disastrous start for Mack and the Wayne offense as another fumble and recovered. Can't start any worse, really. If you're Wayne, let's go to our replay real quickly as McKenzie's going in a rush. As you see, Mack bounce it out. Just a little loose with that, and that's a beautiful strip. Got the left hand on there. I believe that was number 16, Hogue. Lewers takes back over on their 32-yard line of Wayne. The pressure, Nelson not going to get rid of him, and the helmet came off. And did they blow it dead? They did blow it dead. It was a forward pass. It wasn't by much, but it was a forward pass. Let's, let's see what the call is. Should be intentional grounding. Still discussing it here. Oh, they're gonna get this on Wayne? Face mask? Oh, he's, he's going back to the line of streamers to walk it off. A five yard penalty? So we'll be second down on the loss of down. 10-33, 7-0, second 15, high snap, oh, look at the pressure once again. That was Nelson and number 22, Carrington Terry on the tackle and a big, big loss. That pressure's coming directly up the middle as Lures are going to have to shore that up quickly. Third and long. Let's call it 20. Ten minutes left in this first quarter. Three wide receiver set. Twins on this near side. Looking to fat, quick throw, a little bubble. We'll gain about three, four yards. And we'll bring up fourth down. That look out to Isaac Zay. So Lures in Class 2A. I happened to see a outstanding 2A team earlier in the year. I think it was week two against Concordia at Eastbrook. Those Panthers are absolutely loaded. So plenty of competition in Northeast Indiana in Class 2A now. Clock rolling 9-10. Fourth down. Nearly got to it. Nice high kick. And a couple of yards too long. It'll go ahead for a touchback. So Wayne is not hurt by that fumble. Let's see if they make the adjustment, though. As Harold Mack, two carries and two fumbles. Basketball coach, excuse me, Seth Welcome to Wayne Stadium. Nine minutes, Wayne takes over. Three wide receivers set. A little counter, and that was blown up. Whew. Three or four Lures players in there immediately. And I believe that was Zay, or excuse me, uh, Javins that led the way as Pollard had nowhere to go. Eight forty. Marcus Cooper will go in the shotgun for the first time. Eight and a half. Low snap. Look for the hitch. Thrown a little bit out and wide, and that's going to be no catch. Intended receiver was Keyshawn Tolls. We'll bring up third down.
Third and 12 for the Generals. Low snap, Cooper gets it, pressured. Good look. Uh-oh. How about Deontay Williams? Williams is finally tucked out of bounds, but a big, big gainer. Just what Wayne needed was a little bit of life on the offensive end, and they got it on the pitch and catch. Cooper to Williams. First down. 8-10. Under center, a little misdirection. I like this here to Mack. Oh, look at Hogue once again. He's been all over the place. D. Hogue, the sophomore, he's the one that had that strip on Mack on that last possession. That could have been a big, big gainer. It will be second and six, 7.30. Oh, look at that cut, but ran in. What was that? I believe that was number 33. Colin Weber blew that up on that edge. And the offense couldn't set it. Seven minutes. Cooper gets a play from the sideline. Three wide receiver set. He's in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Another quick out. He's just a little bit off on these hitches. Just looking at the first two of them. Looks like he's holding on to the ball just a little bit long. Timing's off a little bit. Got to get that ball out before he comes out of his break. So we'll bring up fourth down. And let's call it seven. Six and a half left. Trips near side. They're going to bunch him. Pollard's on the right hip of Cooper. Fourth and seven. Good. Steps up in the pocket. It's going to tuck another fumble. He did get it back. That's going to be a turnover on downs. So Lure bending a little bit, but not breaking. They'll get the ball back. First and ten, Lures. Her second possession. Her third possession, excuse me. Zay will head out. First and 10, 6.05, left in the first. Three wide receivers set. That's Jimenez. And again, this defensive line for Wayne. The last two possessions look really good on that push up the middle. Led by number 99, Zaire Sullivan. Sullivan back to the football field. It's good to see. An absolute beast up there. Second and ten. No gain on the play. And the shotgun. McKenzie looks near side on this out. And did he pull it down? He did. That's Jalen White with the reception. We'll cut the chains in half. We'll bring up third down. I take that back. That's about a three, four yard gainer. So third and seven. Five, 17 left in this first quarter. Big third down play.
And we got a whistle. And a timeout called by Lures right before the snap. And we'll stay right here as this broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports. Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Specialized specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration. Visit tjwindustrial.com. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfectant services throughout Northeast Indiana. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or getting your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Anderson Heating and Air Conditions, dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit Anderson Cool Heat. Dot com. So out of the timeout, back to the action. Lost my scoreboard there. Might need that here for future reference. Looking for a pass on third down. Caught and a first down pickup to Isaac Zay. Timeout well worth it, obviously. As they pick up the first down on that important third down play, the drive will continue for Coach Lindsay and the Knights. Going McKenzie, that was a good throw to Zay. Three wide receivers set again. Jimenez did find a hole, began of about three, maybe four. I think I'm going to mark it at three. Yep. Bring up second and seven. 440, clock rolling. Same formation. Looks like Jimenez in the backfield on the right hip of McKenzie. Got in there again, Kamir Nelson. Outstanding play defensively. Lamar Nelson, an outstanding defensive player. He's had a great start to the season, leading the team in tackles with 37. The next one comparable is Bushy and Query at 22. But 23 solo tackles from Nelson. He's already flexed his muscle here tonight in this first quarter. Also has two sacks on the season. Third and 12. McKenzie looks near. Oh, Nelson, come on. Give him the game ball already defensively. My goodness. Just absolutely destroying the Lures offense by himself here on the last two plays. Let's take a peek at the traction AP replay. Watch this here, right up the gut once again from Nelson. Sheesh, and spun him down. Made, almost got a piece of that. That will be angled out of bounds at the 32-yard line. First and 10. How about Kamar Nelson? Sheesh. It's been tremendous. Not a lot of room outside that right tackle. Minimal gain, if any. 
They'll mark it at about a one-yard gain. Now Cooper gets the call from the sideline once again. Cooper's going to go under center. And overthrew his intended receiver that time. Third and nine. Three wide receivers set. Twins of that far side. And we may have a timeout. I'm going to assume that. I haven't got a signal. There's the signal. So the timeout called. On the field, this one by Wayne, as we will stay right here. As you know, Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the Summit. At Ottenwater Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind to the entire process from bid to build. Visit OttenwaterContracting.com. Tom Seal Tires has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like bricks, wheel limits, engine diagnostics, and more. A quick timeout by the Generals. On a big third down play, third and nine for Wayne. Got ten on the play clock. Cooper in the shotgun. Are they going to burn another timeout? So my first thought is they only took like 15 seconds on their first timeout. Now they got to kill another one. And it's going to be another timeout. By Wayne, I guess it gives me a way to finish my reads here. Thanks, Coach. As you know, Kelly Automotive celebrating their 71st year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at drivekelly.com. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne. In a family-friendly environment, the Big Odd Fish. So 2.13 left in this first quarter. Twins near side. They're going to put Jacob Sharon in motion. Little jet sweep. Nope, they're going to fake it to him and go deep. They got a man, Harold Mack, caught at the 40 to the 30. No one is going to touch Harold Mack. That is a huge one there. 67-yard pitch and catch. Wayne is on the board. So I don't care. Take all three timeouts if it's going to lead to that. Beautiful job by Wayne. Great execution. They faked that jet sweep to Jacob Sharon. As we'll go to our traction AP replay. Watch Sharon. Goes in motion. Max right there at that H back. And they just leave him. They just leave him. And Mack. Nothing but greenery in, in front of him, and he takes it the rest of the way. Big answer by the Generals. That was worth three. The snap, the hole is good, and did it sneak in? It did. Tied ball game. Tied at sevens with 2.03 left in this first quarter. So it's as disastrous of a start for Wayne as you could have. They are tied up here, folks. Uh, we got ourselves a b -b ball game here at Wayne High School. Well, I got a chance. Big shout-out athletic director Gary Raber. Uh, he's one of the best in the business. Always an outstanding host, whether we're outside here at Wayne Stadium or inside. 
the gymnasium. But what an answer. How about the New Haven Bulldogs up 20 to 7 over Leo? I'm telling you what, they have an outstanding offense. They have weapons at every position. Trey Bates at, at running back, Donovan Williams at quarterback, Mylon Graham at Johnny Washington at the wideouts. Of course, everybody knows Mylon Graham, the five star wide receiver commit to Ohio State. And he, the numbers he's put up already, and he's only played two of the games he didn't even play the second half. New Haven's been that dominant. 2.03 left in this quarter. Now this kid right here, Davion Surrey, is one to watch for. I do not kick him the ball if I'm Wayne. You have Jimenez on the opposite hash, Surrey on this near hash. Robert Castro, the kick. That's a good one to Jimenez. Jimenez fields it at about the 14. He's got a lane. Uh-oh, Jimenez. Gio Jimenez got one to beat. Makes a little subtle move, a second one, and that cost him. Great hustle by Trayon Davis. Or that was going to be a kickoff return for a touchdown. And a good job by Castro just to slow him up a little bit as Jimenez had to make a third move, which cost him his speed a little bit. What a track down by Davis. That was an absolute touchdown saving tackle. Watch him and as he catches this at full speed. Boom. And that lane. I could have ran that through that lane. Whoo. I got some disagreement up here in the press box. I don't know. It's the haters. I don't know what's happening over here. <laughs> we have fun out here at Wayne, no doubt. 153. They're going to play act. Oh, is this a keeper or a blown play? I mean, Kamar Nelson, is, he, is there two of them out there? We got to start double checking numbers for Wayne because I see number 45 everywhere. Second and 10, 133. They've had great push up the middle, has the Wayne defense. You get, need to get some quick outs, maybe a jet sweep here or there. Some tosses. I'm going to get these running backs out in space. McKenzie. Looking left on the hitch. Got it. Turns it upfield. And a shoestring tackle near that first down marker. That's Jalen White on the reception. Third and one. Northside up 12-0 at the end of the first quarter. 33 seconds left in this quarter. Under center, another broken play, and come on, Nelson, are you serious? He's got 103 tackles already in the first quarter. All right, maybe a little exaggeration, but you get my point. Kids been everywhere. And will bring up fourth down. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Seen a little bit of everything here in that first 12 minutes. Let's take a break so Joel and I can catch our breath. We'll be right back here at SummitCitySports.com. Sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. 
Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live. What a roller coaster of a first quarter if I've ever seen one. It's been a goodie. We're tied at sevens. Lures struck first. They forced two turnovers. Capitalized on one of them. Cohen McKenzie's been on the money. Throwing the rock a little bit. A couple plays just have not been able to go it. Lures have got to be careful. They may get charged with a timeout. They stay over there much longer. Still over there in a, in a huddle. Well, here we go. Back to the action. McKenzie pressured. Oh, oh, nearly intercepted. Is that Victor Doughty, I think? Is that 12? Victor Doughty. But that was extremely close to an interception. Got his hands on it. First and ten, turnover on downs. Fumbled snap. Uh-oh. I think Lures fell on it. I think Lures got it. They did. Number 33, Colin Weber. Another big play. The fumble and the recovery. The third fumble. Actually, the fourth fumble for Wayne. Three of them recovered by Lures. And back in business are the Knights. Sheesh. Need to uh, grab out the stick them here at halftime. May have just dated myself with that reference, but hey. 11.43, Lewis takes back over. About the same spot. Jimenez trying to find some space. And play is blown dead. Second and ten, no gainer. For the Knights, McKenzie. It's the call from his wide receiver, Jalen White. The little waggle has a man. Had to turn around to catch the daring. Turned up field and tackled about a yard and a half shy of that first down marker. They're going to spot it at the 15. And it'll bring up third and short, 10.39 remaining. This beautiful new turf here. Uh, what, two years old now? Well, that's such a great look. Let's see what Lures here does here on third and two. Jimenez in motion. They're going to hand to Daring. Daring. Oh, come on. Number 45. 
Kamar Nelson. Another tackle and a loss on the play. That's eight tackles unofficially. As stat guy Lucas Fisher gave me the numbers there at the end of the quarter. He had seven tackles and two sacks in that first quarter. Did Kamar Nelson. He is just special. Finding the crease defensively and getting to the ball. Nine and a half, clock rolling. Fourth down play, they're going for it. I formation, and Lures is going to get a timeout here. Yep. Lures is going to take a quick timeout, one remaining for both squads. We'll take a quick one with them. Summit City Sports. Joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260 266 4007 for more. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace in A. Fourth down. And three. McKenzie, play it. He's got space. Cuts it back and he'll get towards that first down marker. Got it by about two, maybe three yards. Heads up play by the senior QB, Cohen McKenzie, to get that first down. Looks like Jacob Sharon is... Holding that left leg. And he's going to come out. Is that Sharon? Yeah. <laughs> Running a little gingerly on that left leg. He'll get looked at by the Parkview Sports Medicine staff. Three wide receiver set. That's Daring on the left hip. Oh, bat snap went through the wickets of McKenzie. And that's going to be a big, big loss. That's the grounder through the wickets right there. We'll bring up second and long for the Knights. So they got that big fourth down pickup. Now going the wrong direction. Gain of about 2-3. White with the catch and was spun down immediately. Third and long. They're going to call it 21. 8-26 left in this second quarter. Homestead. Oops. 21-0, Snyder. That was a little while ago. McKenzie going in the end zone and overthrew his intended receiver, Davion Surrey, will bring up fourth and long, long. And let's really see what they choose to do. They're bringing another package. Oh, it looks like they're going to line up a field goal here. Ball spotted on the 22-yard line. Angel Rojas will line up this 39-yarder. 
Will the junior. Eh, that's going to be just short. Just about a yard and a half, two yards shy. And Wayne will take over first and ten. And who would have thought as this game started that we would be at eight minutes left in the second quarter and it would be a 7-7 score. First and ten for Wayne. Cooper under center. He's going to hand. Oh, come on. He's been tremendous. Has D. Hogue. Great defensive play from number 16. Bring up second, about seven, maybe eight yards. Cooper, look for the quick slant. Good defensive roll. Okay, Cooper. I like that. Making nothing out of making something out of nothing. I believe that was Tolls out there. The whole lure secondary rolled to his side. That must have been something they've seen on film this past week. They had that read really nicely. But Sometimes you can't stop a running back that turns quarterback. So third and one. We got the jumbo package in with Nelson. Deep in that backfield. Cooper's going to turn hand to Nelson. And it, I, I think it was snapped just too quickly. Nelson was not even didn't even have his chin strap buckled yet. But this is go time here for Coach Haydock. Fourth and about a half a yard. I don't hand it here. I go quarterback sneak. And Cooper will get the call from the sideline. Same formation. They hand to Nelson. He got it. Falls forward and just got it. Did Kamar Nelson. This kid is an absolute dynamite player. First down for the Generals. First and 10, 550 left to go in this quarter, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Three wide receiver set, twins near side. Cooper just needs to pull it down. And he is sacked. That was Weber along with number 24, Christian Buxton, for the sack. Look like that was... Five twelve, clock rolling. Second and what thirteen? They're gonna bring Williams. Nope, now they're gonna go trips here near side. And Coach Adock's gonna take his last time out of the half. Four fifty five remaining in it. And their last last time out. Lure still with one remaining. <laughs> See if we get some updates here. I'd like to recognize the hallowed class of 1973. So it looks like Camden Johnson's going wild on Concordia. But they did just answer with the flea flicker, did Concordia. So Northside leads that one 20 to 7.
7-7 our score here at Wayne Stadium. Looks like Leo answered again, and they have pulled within six points. Leo and New Haven, 2014, New Haven on top. Nice little stutter step, but it didn't matter. Isaac Zay, or excuse me, Javins. Javins, third time's a charm. With the nice, nice pursuit and the tackle and the loss on the play. Four and a half left. Trips near side. That's Pollard in the backfield on the left hip of Cooper. Third and 13. Look in. Uh, Cooper had time. He could have just waited a tick more, and Harold Mack was going to free himself wide open. And instead went with that under receiver who was triple teamed. That was broken up, and it'll bring up fourth down, and Wayne's got to punt it. Back deep goes the sophomore, Davion Surrey. Don't forget, we are live at, what, six venues tonight. Update there at Spooler. Uh, Snyder up 21-0 now. Over south side, there's about nine minutes left to go. Here's Surrey. Surrey, good pursuit and coverage on the punt by Wayne. And he's going to gain about a yard on that. Great job by the Generals. First in 10. I gave you that update at Zollner. North side up 20 to 7. New Haven 2014 over Leo. Where else are we at here? Let's see. Bluffton at Woodland. I'll get you an update here in a second. First and 10. For the Knights. Three wide receiver set. McKenzie. Hands. And got back to the line of scrimmage. As Bushy and Nelson there. Three forty-five. Second and ten. For the Knights offense. They do have one timeout remaining. Nice cool feel. And fall feel to the weather here tonight on the southeast side of Fort Wayne. Three wide receiver set. Showing blitz up the middle. Here it comes. How did they not get him? Slivered out of there. Did daring. And we'll turn nothing into something. Pick up about three, maybe four. And will be three-yard gain, third and seven. 3.02 remaining. Huge third down play for both these squads. McKenzie calls the play out in the huddle. McKenzie looking across the middle and pulled up. That's outstanding job. I believe that Alexander could have absolutely lit up the wide receiver, which would have led to a penalty. He slowed himself up right in front of the back judge. That's high-level IQ play from the senior, Darian Alexander. So Lewis is going to have to punt. Clock stop, 226, tied at sevens, fourth and seven. Low snap, handled nicely. Big left-footed kick. Takes a lures bounce. 
And it'll be downed inside the 25-yard line while Wayne will take over first and 10 with 226 left in the half. As Isaac Zay on the punt. Looks like Carroll takes the lead. They're up now 10 to 3. With about nine minutes left to go in the second quarter. Jimmy Sullivan connected with Hanson Hafner. But the story, they're at Homestead, 7 7, Northrop and Homestead. As they just scored again, 14 7. Thank you. That's going to be a loss on the play, spun down. We'll bring up second and what about 13? Nope, 12. That's a hole, a little stiff arm with Pollard and pushed out of bounds. Big first down pickup, 142 remaining in the second quarter. Good play call and execution from Wayne as Pollard hit the edge. Three wide receiver set. Cooper under center turns hands. We got a flag. Look at the bounce off the tackler. Great run by Pollard, but let's see what this flag is. Thrown by the umpire. Let's see what the call is here. They're looking to see where the play ended. Let's see the call here. Looks like this is going to go against Wayne. This white has been white hat's been really struggling with give a signal here. It can't be a guessing game on what the penalty is. Look, they're already lined up in the <laughs> – oh, my goodness. So I have no idea what that penalty was because the referee wouldn't tell us. Good play from Weber. And another flag. Hopefully we'll know what this one is. Thank God to one of the assistant – or one of the officials. It's going to be unsportsmanlike on lures, it looks like. Something after the play. Or are they calling it on both teams? So it's going to be on both teams. So appreciate the white hat on giving us that one. 120. The handoff Pollard ran in right into a Lures player. I believe that was Javins. And I'll bring up third and long. Cooper, 50 seconds, I would assume Wayne's going to try to keep this on the ground, 
Under 40 seconds. It's third and 20. Cooper under center. Turns, does hand. And minimal gain, about a two-yard, three-yard pickup. Will bring up fourth down, and Lures, I believe, will burn their last timeout. They will. No timeout called by the Knights. With fourth and long for Wayne. Snyder up 28-0 over Southside, mid-second quarter. Trying to get some updates here for you. That is a halftime now at Carroll. 10-7, Carroll leading Dwanger. Fourth and 17, 26 seconds remaining. Back deep is Surrey. High snap, handled by Mack. End over end kick. Surrey feels it at the 32-yard line. Again, great coverage by the Wayne General punt unit. And the ball spotted at the 31-yard line. It'll bring up first and 10 for Lures with 22 seconds left. Cannot afford a turnover, obviously, if you're the Knights. So let's see what they choose to do here with head coach Kyle Lindsey. Fourteen on the play clock, plenty of time. Three wide receivers set. I think they're going to hand this ball off. They will to Daring. And Daring is tackled immediately. That will run out this first half. That is Bushy with the tackle. Who's been outstanding. Yep, that is going to be the half time break. We're going to take a short one here and come right back. We'll get you some score updates live at Summit City Sports. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being 6'3", 6'4", 
to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you! At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed. From business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here from Wayne Stadium. We got ourselves a battle right here, folks. 7-7, seven, seven, Lures and Wayne locked in a good one. As we are extremely excited to be here. Big shout-out, Athletic Director Gary Raber. Always an outstanding host here at Wayne High School. Let's see if we got some scores here for you. Looks like Northside 28 13 over Concordia. Let's see what else we got here. It was 10 3. Excuse me. It was 10 6 at the halftime. Carroll leading Bishop Dwanger, so a pair of field goals. I would assume by win for Dwanger. Oh, had uh, Tristan Newsom. Take an 84-yard kickoff return after the Concordia Flea Flicker, Flicker score. Now 28-13. Yeah, and that's exactly right. Bishop Dwanger, they, Lucas Nguyen, a 37-yard field goal as the second quarter expired. So 10-6 game there. Get you an update from Snyder or from uh, Spooler. 28-0 over Southside. That's nearing the end of the second quarter. Looks like 2014, New Haven still on top of Leo. East Noble, 17-7 was the last update I had over to Kalb. Garrett, twelve to zero over Lakeland right now. That is a shocker. Lakeland in their last two games has scored 137 points, I believe it was. They are held to zero at halftime. Wowzer. Let's see what we got here. If we can get a Homestead Northrop score update. As we're not out there, of course, at Homestead. Let's head on over to Twitter and see if we can find a score there for that one. That would be a big negative. We'll have to look out on the... at the Homestead High School media. Let's see. I think it's halftime out there. Uh, 6.5 seconds left. Homestead is pulled away from Northrop. 28-7. to seven, Under seven seconds left in that second quarter. Let's see. Bluffton at Woodland. Let's see if we can get you an update on that. That's at halftime. Uh, Bluffton 14-0 over Woodland at the half. But we'll go ahead and take a short one so I can finish up my replays. I'll be right back live at SummitCitySports.com. All right, how do I end? Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our cameras. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. 
Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. 
Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. About a minute and a half left in this halftime break. A little extended halftime break. So uh, I got about three more replays I got to cut. So I'm going to take this time and do it. I'll be right back, I promise you. And we'll get in to the second half of game action. SummerCitySports.com. Joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summer City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and flip on into the third quarter. Got a good one here at Wayne Stadium. 7-7 seven, seven is our score. It was a disastrous start for Wayne, and they could have been down big time, but their defense stepped up in the clutch and limited the Lures to just the seven points in that half. But Lures will get the ball to start it. The last kickoff was kicked to Jimenez, who br uh, nearly broke it. Uh, it was about a 50, 60-yard return. Lures did not score on it, but it was a great, great start. As he had a running start to pick that up and go. So third quarter action. Robert Castro will tee it up. Back deep is Jimenez on this near side hash. Davion Surrey on the far hash. Castro will walk it off. And we're set. Castro will walk up. And Jimenez at his three-yard line. Bounces it wide, cuts it back in space. And tackled about the 32-yard line. So about a 29, 30 yard kickoff return for Jimenez. And the Lures, Bishop Lures Knights will take over. First and 10. Eight seconds into the quarter. Let's see what Lures has in store here out of the halftime break. McKenzie in the shotgun. He's going to play action with Jimenez. Looking deep over here on this near side. Oh, my goodness. Hello. How about the Moss catch from Isaac Zay? Went up and just grabbed that. Poked that out of the air. And a beautiful catch. Let's go to our athletic, Traction Athletic Performance Replay. 
Beautiful. And watch the cat. Oh, what a snag. Got a great shot from our camera guy here, Joel Ray. Jimenez. What a read. Fall that hole over the 40 to the 30. Has to cut it back and then push it out of bounds near that 20-yard line. What a beautiful run. That was a great read. By Jimenez. Outstanding blocking as well. Let's take a look at it once again. Watch Jimenez read this. Bounces it. Outstanding blocking, but the running back has to read that and did perfectly. First down. Showing blitz is Wayne. McKenzie in the shotgun. Pressured and sacked. Who else? Kamar Nelson with his third sack of the ball game. And his 10th tackle. He is just a special defensive player. Second 19 for the Knights. Twins to the near side. McKenzie looks to his left, and that time Isaac Zay cannot get up for that one. Too high. I'll bring up third and long for Lures. Trips near side, big third down play. Third and 19, 10 and a half left. This is a double pass, yep. Zay looking deep and under through. And both players got tangled up. And it looked like the Wayne player had the hand around the hip of the receiver, <coughs> Jalen White. Uh, but I don't see any hankies on the field. And that'll bring up fourth and 19. Fourth down. Hit as he threw it. Touchdown on fourth and 19 to Isaac Zay for the score. Woo! Great stuff. That man to man coverage on the outside. Zay had a step, and McKenzie laid a beautiful ball in there. As Zay didn't have to go up and moss that one right in the breadbasket, as you'll see on our Traction Athletic Performance replay. He's hit right as he throws it, too. Boom. I think that was Nelson. And laid it in there perfectly. Did McKenzie for the PAT. That one is up, and it does tuck in that right upright. 14-7 is our score. But let's just check these. Offensive plays here on this lead up to this score. First you had McKenzie throwing it high and Isaac Zay pulling down the one-handed grab. Whew, that is nasty. Then you had, if I can pull it up here, Jimenez on the loose with the great blocking on the right side of that line. Watch the cutback lane set here. Right, boom, right there for Jimenez. Big gainer. And then fourth and 19 for the Knights. Got man-to-man -man coverage on that outside. Hit as he threw it, did McKenzie. And a beautiful pitch and catch to Isaac Zay. 14-7 now, Lures on top. 
Get the timeouts added, didn't do that. Sharon and Mack back deep for Wayne. Ten twenty four in this third quarter. Sideways kick. Oh, Mack couldn't risk it. Uh oh, here's Harold Mack. Gets a block. He could take this to the house. Harold Mack's off to the races. There's not a Lures Knight that's going to catch him. He is in for six. What an answer from H. Mack and the Generals on the kick off return. Woo! My goodness. Just like that, Wayne answers the bell. Look, he gets this one block. That's a great block here. And then this last block right there just got in the way. And Harold Mack does the rest. Outstanding answer from Harold Mack. Woo! We got ourselves some action here, folks. Woo, man. For the PAT. Yeah, that one is good 14 14 let's take one more look at it harold mack what an outstanding run but watch the blocking as well folks he picked that up at his 10 yard line we're going to call it so a 90 yard kickoff return Whew. it just took two blocks for harold mack to break it loose and he does tremendous stuff from Wayne, 14-14. Woo -hoo. A little bit of fun up here for sure. So Surrey and Jimenez back. Check it. They switched it up here. They're going to flip-flop now. Surrey. Davion Surrey is on this near hash, and Jimenez on the far hash. Castro to kick. Surrey bounces it out wide. You got to keep your lane. Oh, what a tackle! At about the 26, 27 yard line. Sharon with the tackle. Great open field tackle from Jacob Sharon. He's been quiet here tonight. Well, he's an outstanding player as well for Coach Haydock. First and ten for Lures. Nine fifty. And we got a little bit of a delay out on the field. Looks like they're switching out to Spalding. The ball on the 27 yard 27 yard line first and 10 play action on the slant just overthrew so Carroll coming out in the third quarter and a big touchdown throw from Sullivan they take a 16-6 lead with 10-15 remaining in the third. PAT still to come. Second and 10. 
947. Play action. Here it comes. The screen set up. Uh-oh, this could be dangerous. Jimenez, how about the recovery? That was great recovery by that back end of the Wayne defense because that whole front end was near the quarterback. That'll bring up third. Third and, well, I think they're going to mark it at a two-yard gain. Third and eight, nine and a half left in this third quarter. Looking near side. Beautiful. Javins and a first down pickup. McKenzie to Javins. First and ten. So it looks like McKenzie has settled in after a couple of those early passes on the out routes that were just way wide. That one looked really clean from Cohen McKenzie. Three wide receivers set. McKenzie in the shotgun. Oh, there's got to be a false start. That's going to be a false start on Lure. So just as they're rolling, the penalty flag comes out and they'll back them up five. It'll be first and ten. Nine and a half minutes. McKenzie in the shotgun. First and 15. Showing blitz up the middle it is Wayne. They're coming. The quick out. Good play call. Uh-oh. Zay out over the 40 and finally tackled, but another big pickup. McKenzie to Zay. They found the combination here of late. That's going to cut the chains in half. Second down. Nine minutes left to go in the third quarter. Halftime score, Snyder up 35-0 over Southside. Second and five. Here for Lures. Twins near side, I formation. They're going to pitch it to Jimenez. Jimenez. Oh, nice little stutter step to get about three extra yards. It's going to bring up. They're going to mark it at first down. It's really close. First down. So the white hat will give us the call. Halftime score at Zollner. Concordia down 42-19. Northside finally coming out on the offensive side of things. They had a kickoff return as well. Jimenez had nowhere to go as that was number 32. His name is Jaden Bushy. Still at halftime at Leo, 2014 is the score. McKenzie going deep, looking for Zay, got a step, and the touchdown. Defense just lost Isaac Zay in the zone coverage. McKenzie lays another beautiful ball in. And the touchdown for Lures. 
Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. My goodness. It looks like the cornerback passed him off. And Zay, look at the pass here from McKenzie and just misjudged. And the touchdown from Isaac Zay. In for the PAT, Liam Kelly. That one is up, and that one is good. So Lures answers the Harold Mack kickoff return for a score and take the lead 21 14, seven and a half minutes remaining. This broadcast brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. <clears throat> and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all of our live events as they happen. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration. Visit tjwindustrial.com. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. So back to the action. Let's see what they choose to do. Probably don't want to kick it Harold Mack's way from what he just showed you on the last kickoff. And they will go the opposite way and kick it to the up man. Uh oh got to get the ball. What a recovery. Woo. Didn't go attack the ball. And that was recovered by Evan Wilkins, number 13. Wow, what a change of events here. As the up guy did not go get the ball, and it bounced. And what a play, individual effort. And yeah, it takes a nice high bounce. Look at the dive, caught to it, wow. Wow, outstanding stuff from Lures. They take back over now. Trips near side, lone wide receiver to the far side. McKenzie starting to feel it. That one out of bounds, though. He was drilled as he let go of that ball. We'll bring up second and 10. Second and 10, 726 left. Three wide receiver set. Hand off to him, uh, Mickey Daring. Daring near the 20 yard line. I believe he was tackled just shy of it. Third down and four. Ball at the 21-yard line. McKenzie in the eye formation. They're going to hand Jimenez. Jimenez is blown up there at about the 21 by Nelson. Will bring up fourth and a long one. Obviously, Lewis is going to go for it here. I line up in that eye formation again. Uh, 
There it is. McKenzie under center. High formation. Jimenez will take it. Blown up. What a play defensively. Uh, Zaire Sullivan, I believe, was at the point of contact and then cleaned up by Darion Alexander. That is a big fourth down defensive stop for the Generals. Let's see if we can see who that was. Oh, my goodness. That wasn't Sullivan. It was Bushy. Bushy at the point of contact. I'm going to show that to you again because he absolutely made a wonderful play defensively to break that up. So Wayne will take over. Cooper in the shotgun. Puts a man in motion. Looks far side. And that's going to be incomplete. Watch this defensive play one more time here, folks. Watch the, le uh, the right end. Sullivan nailed him. And then that left the open lane for Bushy, which then, in turn, made Alexander completely free to make that play. And he did so. Another great play from number 10, Jacob Felger. The juniors had a couple of them here in the third quarter. That's a big one. And I'll bring up third and long for Wayne. Seventeen six out at Carroll. Carroll over Dwanger. <laughs> Excuse me. Seven-point game here. And what we got? Timeout from Wayne. They want to talk about it on this big third down play deep in their own end. And we'll go ahead and stay right here. As you know, Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfectant services throughout Northeast Indiana. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or getting your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. A system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Anderson Heating and Air Condition, one of our longtime sponsors here at Summit City Sports. Big shout out to those outstanding gentlemen. Cooper, plenty of time across the middle. Oh, that was knocked away by Weber. That's a good defensive play. That was going to be about, what, three yards, maybe four yards yard shy of the first down marker either way. But now an absolute punting time here for Coach Haydock and the Generals. Harold Mack to kick. And they're, they're putting Jalen White back there to return this kick. No Davion Surrey back. Oh, blocked. Blocked by a pair of knives. Picked up. Can he score? Is tackled at the five-yard line. But another great special teams play from Lures. Damian Jackson recovers the blocked punt. There was like two or three Lures players. They've been getting close every punt. Whew. Who was that? Number eight? That was number eight, Finn Sachs, the transfer from Bishop Dwanger. How about Finn Sachs putting his fingerprint 
on this ball game for Lures. So Lures takes over. First and 10 on the general five. I formation. McKenzie under center. Hand off Jimenez. And tackled. That was number 11, Trayon Davis. Maybe a gain of one. Second and goal from the four, let's call it. <laughs> four and a half minutes. Obviously, Wayne needs the hold here. And absolutely demolished. What a breakup. Sullivan and Dunn there on the tackle and a loss. Be third and goal from the eight-yard line. Big third and goal play. Two wide receivers set. McKenzie in the shotgun. Two tight ends in. Play action. Oh, pressure. The screen set up near side. Woo. I think that was Bushy. That absolutely drilled McKenzie. And he's limping a little bit. Will bring up fourth and goal. And here comes the field goal unit for Coach Lindsey. Angel Rojas. The junior will look to kick it. That one is blasted. That one one hops the parking lot. And yeah, that's still a win if you're the Wayne Generals. As it was first and goal from the five, you only give up three, you're down 10. 319 left in this third quarter. So the volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. That not another contracting. We invest in our customers by providing peace of mind to the entire process from bid to build. Visit hotandwellercontracting.com. Tom Seal Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. Kelly Automotive celebrating their 71st year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at drivekelly.com. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne and a family-friendly environment at the Big Eyed Fish. So, Lures to kick. They're going to squib it and smart play by Jaden Bushy. Hop on that ball and they'll down it at about the 35 yard line. So, Wayne will start first and 10 from the 34 yard line officially. Excuse me. The quick out. And does hold on to it. That will cut the chains in half. Good concentration from Deontay Williams to pull that in. Let's 
Under three minutes, clock rolling. They're gonna say second and four. Cooper, trips far side, they're bunched. Harold Max, your lone wide receiver to the near side. On the quick hitch, and Mack will pick up the first down. I forgot to mention when this broadcast started, he's wearing a cast on that right wrist, which I'm sure played a big part in the two fumbles early. Yes. They'll run same formation. Now Cooper's going to go under center with it. I believe that's Pollard in the backfield. Now he's going to look to the sideline for an audible. He's getting the signal. And now we'll back out. They do audible. And the quick out to White. Great touch by Marcus Cooper to fit that one in. Second down. Update from Zollner. Concordia 48-19 on the deficit of that. Northside on top. That's going to be a loss. A big loss. About a three-yard loss from Mack. Also live at Woodland. I believe it's still halftime out there. Can't be. No, it's in the third quarter. Last I checked, it was bluffed in 21-0 over Woodland. That's a tuck. It does Cooper. Nowhere to go. Oh, whew. it was a good idea to try to dump it off to Pollard. But a lot of traffic there. Oh, and New Haven just had a pick six. So New Haven will go up 26-14 with the PAT still forthcoming. Mack will punt it. Back deep again is Jalen White. Mack had the last one blocked. It came again. He read it. Mack got there. Woo! I don't know if that was designed or not, or if Harold Mack just saw that no one was on that left edge and just read it and made himself a play. Let's check it out. You see Mack, there's no one on that side. I think Mack saw this and immediately once he fumbled that snap, he was off to the races. I'm telling you, if he would have tried to kick that ball, it would have been blocked by Javens. Back to the action. Cooper scrambles, tucks it at the 45. Hold on to the ball here. And it's tackled at the 40. <laughs> 49 seconds left in this third quarter. Second and six. Second and six. Should be the last play of this third quarter, barring a penalty. Cooper, the blitz across the middle. And that's a good coverage and pressure from the Knights. So incomplete pass, so we'll get another play. 13 seconds left. Update from Leo. New Haven gets the two-point conversion. They take the 28-14 lead. With seven and a half minutes left to go in the third. Third and six. 13 seconds left. Cooper setting up a screen. Pollard. Can he break a tackle? Oh, what a, what a spin. I think he got that with the extra effort. He did. Great effort. Taken down by 
from Antoine Pollard, the senior, with the big third down pickup. So the end of the third quarter, 24-14 is your score. We'll take a break. Come right back. Summit City Sports. .com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. Start of our fourth quarter, first and ten for Wayne. Cooper looking to pass, has a man wide open. Oh, he threw it behind him. Oh. Deontay Williams was on a post route, and he was gone. That would have been huge. Whew. I don't know if that slipped out of his hand or he expected Williams to go on a fly route, but the outside wide receiver was on a fly route. Sheesh. Missed opportunity, second and ten. Cooper, he's been tremendous. Here's the hitch. That's a good pick up there. Third and manageable now. Four down territory anyway. Cooper, across the middle, came back for the ball. Great wide receiver skills. That is Keyshawn Tolls with the big, big play. And Cooper threw it really where only Tolls could catch it. It's good stuff there from Marcus Cooper, picking himself up after that last one. Cooper. Oh, he had the fade. Flicks it. Dangerous pass. As that's, I believe, did he catch it? No, incomplete. Incomplete pass intended for Pollard. Cooper under pressure, sacked. Who was it? That was Javens on the sack. Big, big play, and that's going to bring up third and extremely long for Wayne. 11 minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Cooper, two wide receivers set far side. Last time they ran this play, it was flip-flopped, and Harold Mack went on a touchdown. Now that looks like Jacob Sharon is at that age back where Mack was in that second quarter. Yeah, exact same play, just opposite, and they got him again. They saw it, and again they take advantage. 
Wow! Wow! I'm not going to say I told you so, but I told you so. Woo! My goodness. That was an outstanding play claw. They just flip-flopped it. And a great job by Coach Haydack and his staff to take advantage again of that same formation. So 10-25 left to go in this ball game. Castro will line it up. Uh, there's a roughing the passer as well. I think he could take this on the kickoff now in high school. But let's see. Yeah, it'd be pointless to take it for the extra point, wouldn't it? Well, that's very true. Sorry, having a little conversation up here in the P. <laughs> so let's see if they do take it on the kickoff. Castro. Kick is up. That's good. 24-21. Wayne now pulls within three. And that roughing the passer call. Let's take a quick one here, Summit City Sports. Sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and they will take that roughing the passer on the kickoff. So they will kick off from the Bluers 45-yard line. Castro, the run up, the boot, and that's going to go in the end zone easily. First and 10 for Lures. Heritage up 21 14. What was it? 28 14. All right, I'm set. That's a big one there. Bluffton up 21 0. First and 10 for Lures. And a, that's a false start. Yep, that's going to be a false start on Lures. First and 15, McKenzie, he's going to hand off. And that was Finn Sachs. Ooh. Ooh. Bushy. Woo -hoo. How about Jaden Bushy? Nothing fluffy about that tackle. Great stuff. He's second and long. Uh, 
And that's an incomplete pass. Tipped. Third and long, third and fifth, uh, third and 13, 9.48 left to go in this ball game. Nine forty eight. Trips far side. Lone wide receiver to the near side. McKenzie in the shotgun. Low snap. Handles it nicely. Surveys. Goes deep. And that could be picked. Oh, just misjudged his timing on the jump. I think that probably would have been over his head either way. Fourth down. And 13. Back deep, Jacob Sharon for Wayne. The punt. Off the side of the foot, and that'll hop and be down at the 43-yard line where Wayne is in business. First and 10. First and 10, Cooper in the shotgun, spread formation. First time I believe we've seen this all game. He's going to look to pass. Pressured and cannot get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a sack by Javens, another one. Javens is outstanding defensively. We talked about Kamar Nelson so much for Wayne. Isaac Zay, number eight, had a tremendous game as well. On the defensive side of the ball. On the quick out to Sharon. And he's out of bounds. We'll bring up third down. Excuse me. Third and eight. Trips near side. Lone wide receiver to the far side. Cooper. Pressure. has got a waggle near side. The throw is deflected. The big fella got his arms up. D Damian Jackson. And he'll break that one up. Jackson, they list him at 6'4", 214. And he'll bring up fourth down. 8.37 left to go. Wayne has two timeouts, lures with three. Let's see what Wayne decides to do. I'm punting this and playing field position. Yep, here comes Harold Mack. He'll look to punt it. Got it off, fielded at about the seven, eight yard line. And that is number four, Isaac. Who was, yeah, that was Isaac Zay on the return. And the tackle by Ashton Berkey, 5'6", 150. 
How about that coverage? <laughs> Absolutely. The long snapper, Ashton Berkey. Eight and a half left. What a ball game here tonight. This is exactly what we expected. Maybe not as many turnovers, but we expect it's been a decently clean game, especially in the second half. Here's Jimenez. Jimenez, they stretch him out, does Wayne, and it'll be a gain of about two. Second down. Second down and seven. Eight minutes left. Second seven. McKenzie in the shotgun. They put Jimenez in motion. They fake it to him and then go to Mickey Daring. Daring breaks one tackle out over the 30. And tackle just shy of the 35-yard line. Good run there from Mickey Daring on a good play design and execution by Lures. Seven fifteen, first and ten. Still loose. It does get out over the thirty-five yard line. Gain of about three by Daring. Bushy on the tackle. McKenzie awaits the call from the sideline. High formation, two wide receivers set. The pitch. And not a lot of space. Did, did fall forward for a gain of about one, maybe two yards. <laughs> Dwenger and Carroll, about 540 left to go in that ball game. Carroll up 2013. It'll bring up third and six here at Wayne Stadium. Big third down play for the General D. McKenzie in the shotgun, two wide receiver set, two tight end, and a timeout from Lures. They want to talk about it. Timeout, Lures. They take their first timeout of the second half. I'll do it with them right here live at SummerCitySports.com. <laughs> Joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260 266 4007 for more. 
The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. Andrew. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Same formation, two tight end, two wide receiver set. Play action to Daring, pressured. Oh, what a look to Javens. Uh, that's a big third down pickup. McKenzie stood strong in the pocket. He saw he was going to get hit and laid it right on the money to Javens. First and 10. Twenty-seven, thirteen. Carroll on top of Dwinger now. New Haven starting to pull away from Leo, as I expected. That offense is just so dyna dynamic in in Class Four A as well. That's a loaded sectional here in Class Four A. Now that Dwinger got pushed uh, back to their normal enrollment slot. Oh, daring! Look at the vision. Gain of about six. Thought he was going to be corralled easily. Four and a half minutes. We're just under. Second and four. One on the play clock, just got it off. They handed it to the up guy. And I think he's going to get the first down. That was a nice little wrinkle out of the eye formation. They haven't handed it to the lead back. They did that time for a big third down, uh, yeah, big first down pickup. Ball be spotted at the 35, first and 10. Three and a half minutes left. Lures is doing a great job chewing up some clock. Oh, fumble. And McKenzie smartly just fell on it. That's going to be a loss of about four yards. It'll bring up second and long and a timeout by Wayne. I'm going to step away real quick here at Summit City Sports. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 3-11 left in this fourth quarter. Second and 14 for Lures. The play action. Isaac Zay, good catch. Turns it upfield. And his tackle just shy 
about a yard and a half, two yards shy of that first down marker. Zay did a nice job with a little bit of yak. Third and short. 220. Clock rolling. I formation. Oh, what a little shimmy from Finn Sachs. And he'll pick up the first down. What a play. Finn Sachs, I think that's only his second carry of the game. Uh, that is a huge one. He had a blocked punt earlier. That led to a field goal. Yep, Carroll up 33-13 over Dwanger. 4.46 left to go in the game. First and 10. Two minutes left. And just one timeout remaining for the, the Generals. I formation, they'll turn hand to Sacks again, I believe. Who was it? Yep, Sacks with another carry. And I think Wayne just took their last time out. Yep, last time out taken by Wayne. I'm going to take one more time out so I can push these replays out real quick. SumCitySports.com. Sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Welcome back, Indiana High School football fans. Second and eight for the Knights. I formation, one wide receiver set. Jimenez will dot that eye. They'll hand it to him. He makes one miss, takes a cut, and then tackled inside the 20-yard line. And I'm not a math major, but I don't know if they got to pick up this one first down in its ball game. Be third and four. Mackenzie. Hand off, Jimenez, and he's tackled at the five, and that will be ball game. What a battle we saw here. Just going to be not enough for Lures. And let's see if they go in victory formation. They just got to snap it one time. So the greatest formation in football forthcoming, the victory formation. As Bishop Lures, McKenzie will let the play clock roll down. It's at six. And they do snap it. 
And the celebration. And the celebration for the Bishop Lures Knights. They win a big one. And get to 500 on the season at a 2-2 two and two record. Tremendous ball game we saw out here tonight in the second week of the Summit Athletic Conference play. So in that B division, Lures will move to 1-0 and o in the division. Wayne will drop to 0-1 in the B division. And what a game we saw out here tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Until next week, for Joel Ray, I am Tim Atkinson. You've been watching Indiana High School Football right here from SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So. Uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here um, you know and they're getting better um, you know I'm watching you know uh, Summit City Sports man they're doing an awesome job and I mean that's a plug them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job and I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting and I'm seeing the talent and it is just truly outstanding and I mean you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne Indiana the talent that's coming up now and the talent that you know is it's is, is, is just here man it's just is really it's really cool I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further, 
in football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November. In addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Woo. Okay. Yeah. What the, do you have the quarterback numbers, Mackenzie? Um, 14 to 24 for 184. Yeah, good day. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Yeah. Got locked out. Oh, just, I got you. You want to climb through the window? I'm putting my last one right now, and then we'll clean up PSM player of the game. There it is. What was Zay's number again? Do you have it in front of you? Uh, Once, how much? How many yards? One He is very hard to block. I told him I need him to rush me this year. That's you're right. Yeah. I mean, he is slithery. He didn't want to last year, but. How much he weigh? Um, he's uh, about 170, 180. Okay. 